Knitpix is having another 20% off sale. Oh my God, let's dive right into this. Hello my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Julie and I'm the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. You've read that and heard that correctly that Knitpix is having another 20% off sale. So this weekend, um, October 9th, is I Love Yarn Day and in celebration Knitpix decided to have a 20% off all yarn. So if you missed out on their 20% off sale last week, do not worry. I've got you, they have another sale. So let me get all of this information correct and then I'm gonna be bringing you through my top yarns that you have to grab during the sale, um, my favorite ones, I'll give you some fun pattern ideas. So do not worry, we've got this and we're gonna go through all of the incredible yarn. So I Love Yarn Day is October 9th and they're putting their all of their yarn on sale 20% off with the promo code I love yarn. Put that right here. So this is both on Knit Picks and We Crochet. This sale will run through October 7th all the way to October 11th. So do not worry. In honor of I Love Yarn Day, Knit Picks are putting all of their yarn on sale. I... Knit Picks is amazing, okay, you guys? I work with their yarn nonstop. I'm an affiliate and ambassador for them, but I truly do love their yarn. I only work with companies that I value what they bring, um, what they do, and Knit Picks is the best. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. So I wanted to bring you through the top yarns um, that I would say are my favorite um, that you don't wanna miss out. If you wanna shop through my affiliate links below, I will link them. It just means that at no extra cost to you, I will earn a commission if you purchase through them. So thank you so much in advance. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I wanna make sure that I'm bringing out videos and content that you like and you find beneficial. So let me know if you like this type of content. Um, I just love recording and bringing you guys through a little bit more behind the scenes and really being able to chat with you guys. First up is one of their yarns that I love is Twill. Now Twill um, comes in a worsted weight as well as a fingering weight. I have yet to use the fingering weight so I am telling you to buy the worsted weight. I have um, designed a hat out of this. I've made two sweaters. I just really love Twill. Twill is 100% superwash merino wool and is machine washable and is 149 yards per 100 grams. It is a worsted weight. Um, so this is what Twill looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the stitch definition or like the yarn, the twist. And I just think that this would be incredible and cables and just absolutely amazing. So I brought over a few colors to show you. This one that I'm showing off is called Twister. Now it's not like a full on black or gray. It has like these blue undertones that is just gorgeous. Um, and then I brought over this one so you can kind of see that it looks like a gray, but it's like a bluish gray. It's just stunning. This one I've used in my sweater. Um, this one is Sea Salt Heather. And a lot of these colors overlap into the fingering weight, um, especially I do know that Sea Salt Heather is in there. Um, this one I also knit up in a sweater. This one is Fiddlehead. And this one is also, I know in the fingering weight, is Serpent Heather, which is this beautiful, gorgeous, mustardy yellow. Really, really pretty. So you can really use Twill for anything with the 100% Superwash Merino um, with such a high twist. I do find that it's a great alternative if you can't afford hand dyed yarns. Um, I've also said it before that I think it'd be great if you wanted to use up maybe one or two skeins of your hand dyed yarn that you have in your stash and maybe to make a sweater and like purchased more for like the body and then have like a fun color work yoke with your hand dyed. So it'd be a great way to kind of mix those bases together um, and making it more affordable, especially with 20% off. So this is definitely one to keep an eye out for. I would definitely grab a sweater quantity if you are looking to make some sweaters. Um, they make great hats mittens, sweaters, 
anything you're going to want to make. It is crazy soft and it blocks out beautifully. Highly, highly recommend twill. Um, some twill worsted. Put that on the ground over here. The second yarn I wanted to share with you guys is Stroll and Stroll Tweed. Now this yarn is one of my favorites because I've knit with it numerous times. I actually have a blog post on um, Stroll Tweed. I had made a sweater seven, eight years ago out of Stroll Tweed. I'll put a photo and it still looks incredible to this day. That's how amazing. Stroll and Stroll Tweed are yarns that you can use for socks, hats, mittens, sweaters. It's one of those, it's one of that yarn that you can use on anything. So this one I just grabbed is Stroll Tweed in Marine Heather. Their tweed base is 65% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and 10% Donegal Tweed. It is also machine washable. Now, I do not machine wash my sweaters. I always um, hand wash them. I think all that time and effort, I just want to really make sure that, you know, it comes out right. But they are machine washable. And I picked out some strolls to show you the difference. So they are both fingering weight, um, and their stroll base is a 75-25 fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. They are both 231 yards per 50 grams. Now, I am thinking of making, and I wanted to give you guys that idea, I'm thinking of making like some fun, um, scrappy, stripy socks for Christmas. And I picked up some holly berry, some white, and rainforest heather. When these make just gorgeous Christmas socks, I mean, stroll, you can really make anything with them. Um, I'm actually going to be coming out with a free pattern, a free hat pattern at the end of the month, holding Stroll Tweed Double. So it's a really fun hat pattern. So if you want to grab that, you just need one skein of each. Um, I marl it, so I use two different colors, but that would be all up to you. You can use in one color, um, but definitely grab some Stroll and Stroll Tweed if you are interested. I just love the base. It is insanely soft, um, really durable. I've made socks with it. Like I said, sweaters, everything, and it holds up in amazing. I only want to show you guys yarns that I've used and um, that I really do love because I want to make sure that I'm able to provide you one with some pattern ideas and two to show you really off um, a really good review of them. Next up I have is High Desert Wool. Now this one is a newer yarn to Knit Picks um, within the last year. I designed a hat for the release and in amazing. Um, I'm gonna say all of these are amazing, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm gonna say all of them are amazing because these are my top 10. So, so yeah, so High Desert Wool is one of them that is on the little bit of pricier side. So I would say if you are wanting to grab some, definitely get them on a sale. I think they are $18.99 US a, a ball, which is for the 100% USA grown Shanica wool is very affordable. Um, they are their worsted weight. They also come within a sport weight. I have not tried the sport weight, but their worsted weight is amazing. Um, I designed a hat pattern that you can grab both on the Knit Picks website or um, my shop, and it is just beautiful. The um, twist on it is amazing. The stitch definition. I did a colorwork hat, and it is just, it came out beautiful. So I really love it. It is very soft. I got asked a lot of questions like, is it rough? Is it soft? I do not like rough and scratchy yarns. Um, I think it's like Simply Alpaca or the Simply Simply Wool Worsted from Knit Picks. I personally find it's too scratchy and not up my alley. This one is amazing. So I pulled out a few colors to show you guys. This one is Forge. I love their ball bands. I love that they're different. Um, and then I also pulled Willow. Really beautiful. They have a bunch of neutrals. They have um, some white, I think it's called Cottonwood, but um, 
Definitely amazing. Also, I've been wanting to grab a sweater quantity to make the poncho. I'll put a photo up here. That poncho has been on my wish list to knit ever since it came out. When I saw that, it originally came out out of Will of the Andes tweed. And now that I have this one that's like softer than Will of the Andes, they might have converted me into making one. Let me know in the comments below, have you been wanting to make that one? They have a kit with this. I will link it below. All right, next up is Stroll Mini Skein Packs. I absolutely love adorable curated mini packs for from anybody. I mean, I think it's amazing that they have selected for you some colors, that all go together. Um, I actually have a sock pattern out there. Um, I will put a photo and a link below, also on the Knit Picks website, Mountain, Mountain Peak Socks. Look, I, I'm releasing my hundred pattern. <laughs> so I do not remember every single name, but I think it's Mountain Peak. Um, and this is called the Stroll Mini Scheme Packs. Now these are absolutely amazing. You get, you get five 20 gram minis for 462 yards total in the 100 grams. They are 7525. They are the exact same um, content of Stroll and Stroll Hand Painted, which are two lines that I really do love. I've made socks with those before. Absolutely incredible. Very, 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 very soft. Um, so they have these fun curated packs. This one is their terrarium, terrarium, which is um, walrus hand painted, base camp, eucalyptus, celery seed, and kiwi tono. They have a ton of them in amazing um, colors. This one's more in the greens. I have this one that is called the deep sea, more of those blues. This one I know is frozen. Um, Pluto. Pluto, I actually came out with a full sock pattern um, with, which is the Duke of Hastings, also on the Knit Picks website. Um, this one is Walrus, Train Station, and Night in the Hand Painted. This one might be one of my favorite is Iceberg. So you get those neutrals in with the blues. So this one is Pearlescent, Yeti, Frozen, Pluto, and Walrus. Definitely love this one. And the last one is definitely a Julie fade. Um, this is their Coastal, which is just grays and neutrals. So this is their Pearlescent, Mocha, Thunderhead, Train Station, and Inverness. So these are super fun. Um, you can make anything with mini packs. I'm actually gonna be coming out with a scrappy pair of socks pattern um, today. So um, that would be great for these. But you could also make like a sweater. You can grab a sweater quantity of one of the strolls and then use the other ones as the yoke. You can make some fun hats, some scrappy mittens. Really, you guys, you can make anything with stroll minis. And I think they're just a fun addition to your stash. You can make a fun blanket or anything. So definitely jump on these. I think that they're super adorable. Really love this one. Iceberg. Yeah. Iceberg is, I think, my favorite. I just love how it goes from the gray and then the, I love Yeti. I have a full skein of the hand-painted in Yeti and it's been calling or screaming my name. I've been wanting to knit that up. So yes, these are some mini skein scroll, st blah, 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 mini skein stroll packs. Next up is Hawthorne. Hawthorne is one of those yarns that it is not as soft as Stroll for a sock yarn, but it is extremely durable. Hawthorne is incredible. It comes with three different lines. It has their Hawthorne Kettle Dye, Multi, and Speckled. They will all be on sale. And I just pulled uh, one of each. So Hawthorne comes with 357 yards per 100 grams. It is 80% superwash fine highland wool and 20% polymade, which is another type of um, like a nylon. And they are all machine washable. I can say that I've put my Hawthorne socks in the washer, in the dryer, and they come out perfect. So 
that, that was my experience. If you're ever worried, you can put them on machine wash cold and then lay them flat to dry. That's with any pairs of socks. Um, but yeah, so Hawthorne, this is Hawthorne Mar... Whoo! I might need a little bit of coffee. Um, this is Hawthorne Multi in Brooklyn, which... Gorgeous. They have so many beautiful colors in the Hawthorne. Um, I've come out with a few patterns with Hawthorne. This one is Daphne, and I came out with my Daphne socks. I will put a photo, but I do think that, um... Hawthorne is amazing. Years, again, six years ago, I knit a um, cardigan out of slate in the Hawthorne kettle dye, which has held up perfectly as well. That's Hawthorne kettle dye, and then the other one is a Hawthorne speckled. I've knit socks eight years ago out of Hawthorne speckled. Um, really beautiful, held up. This one is called Jupiter. Now, Hawthorne, um, you just need one for a pair of socks, so I don't think you can go wrong with just grabbing whichever one catches your eye, having them in your stash, and knitting up some fun socks. These are amazing for gift knitting as well, um, because they are low care, which means that your recipient can put them in the wash and then just lay them out flat to dry. They hold up beautifully, and they knit up amazing. Um, they are not scratchy wool at all, but they are more... They are woolier than their stroll. Stroll, stroll just feels like butter, like so soft. And Hawthorne has a little bit of a grip, but trust me, it is not, it is not rough at all. Um, I absolutely love Hawthorne and everything that they have with it, so... I would highly recommend if you are looking for some, definitely grab um, some there. Like I said, you just need one skein for a hat, one skein for a pair of socks. Um, you can even make a fun little shawlette or cowl. Really only need one skein for those. So Next up I have is Swish. Swish is um, a yarn that I'm currently actually designing a little sweater with. Um, not showing you guys right now, but you will see that in the future. Swish is crazy soft like stroll. Um, it is 100% fine superwash merino wool, and it is machine wash cold, tumble dry. I've actually knit up, um, the girl's little tiny flax pullovers out of Swish when, um, when I was pregnant, and those wore beautifully, and I put them in the washer and held up, um, Absolutely adorable. If I can, I'll put a photo of the girls here in their little tiny sweaters. But Swish comes in these 50 gram balls and it is 110 yards per 50 grams. I just pulled a few colors to show you. Swish has um, three different bases. They have their Swish DK, Worsted, and Bulky. All three I've knit, um, I have actually designed a cable throw out of the Swish Bulky in the Cobblestone Heather. I'll put a photo here. You can have uh, find that both on my website, Ravelry, and Knit Picks. But this one is the Swish Worsted Weight. All three bases are very soft, very durable, all machine washable. So I really do love that. Um, I love all the colors that they come in. They really have an amazing range, uh, range of colors. This one is their Dove Heather, which is their classic gray. This one is their cobblestone heather. Um, I designed my throw out of this color, and I picked this one, which is absolutely adorable. Wonderland heather. Okay, wouldn't a super cute like colorwork sweater be adorable in those? So yeah, so Swish is one of those that I would highly recommend in any of the three bases. Um, very durable, great for any type of project, sweaters, hats, mittens, blankets anything. Swish is one of those that would be great also for baby knits if you're gifting anybody. Um, it's soft enough for a baby, durable for the mom, so you don't have to worry. She won't have to stress about taking care of it. Um, so it's just really great, great yarn. The next yarn um, is Felici. Now, let's all be honest, this um, video would not be complete without Felici. Their Felici is a um, self-striping yarn, which is so beautiful, and they come out with special collections every few months. Now, what this means is that they release a certain amount of colorways, and that's it. Once they run out, 
um, their next time won't be the same color. So if ever you see some skeins of Felici that you really love, grab them right away um, because odds are they won't be coming back right away or ever. So right now I pulled three skeins that they currently have um, that are my favorite. This one is Desert Rose which is beautiful. Their Felici comes in 50 gram balls, so if you want to make a pair of socks, I would recommend you get two of these. And it is on their 7525 Superwash Merino Wool and Nylon. Felici is like stroll soft. Very, very beautiful. But they also hold up really nicely. Um, this one is called Under the Sea. Which is so adorable. This, every time, every time I hear this, um, Little Mermaid song, you know, with like the crab under the sea just comes stuck in my head um so you're welcome if that's now stuck in your head <laughs> but i just love it and then this one is called base jump which i love these beautiful colors i love that they are coming out with more um like gender neutral colors because i knit with Felici and Knit Picks a lot, and I absolutely love gift knitting to my husband and um, my father. So they are definitely knit worthy, and um, any colors that are more gender neutral, neutral colors, I just love those. So yes, definitely hop on Felici. You will need two balls of these for a pair of socks. Um, Felici is also something that you can use for some mittens, for your hats. I mean, so many people make amazing things out of Felici. Doesn't always have to be socks, but while they're on sale, might as well grab some of their new range. All right, you guys, the last two yarns. This one is one of them that I've been using a lot lately is Dishy. Dishy is their dishcloth yarn, which is 100% cotton and um, machine washable, 190 yards per 100 grams. So this comes in a worsted weight and comes in these absolutely adorable little cakes all ready for you to knit up. This year I am actually doing the Dishy Challenge, which is Dishy Dimanche. It's a knit along that I'm co I'm hosting, which I've been absolutely horrible at and will admit I have not been knitting on my dishcloths as I should be because I have other things, but I want to be getting back to them. So these are the dishcloths up to now that I've used this year and they are all knit out of Dishy. Dishy comes with three different ranges. Dishy Solid, which is this one. Dishy Multi, which is multi multiple colors and Dishy Twist, which, let me grab that one. Their Dishy, their Dishy Twist looks like a marled beautiful. So this is Twist, Solid, and Multi. Um, if you're looking for the colorways, this one is a Dream House, which is their pinks. Um, this one is Begonia. And this one is Pomegranate. Now, if you're looking for a pattern, I just use a free pattern on Ravelry, um, Grandma's favorite dishcloth, and I just knit. For dishcloths, I don't care, but I have been trying to use up every single last scrap of yarn. So as I am knitting up a full dishcloth, as I get done, I will knit it up, and then once I get finished, then I'll take the second color and just continue, and then I'll make dishcloths out of those colors. And then once I'm done this color, see where I'm going? I knit it up until I didn't have any more. And then now this is the color that I'm currently working up. So I absolutely love knitting on dishcloths. I think they're great. Um, and they're really affordable, especially with the 20% off coupon code. I mean, geez, you're gonna get this at a crazy, crazy price. And dishcloths are amazing for gift knitting. If you do not know if a person is knit worthy or if you're not sure what to gift somebody, I think just some fun hand, handmade dishcloths with maybe a little soap or um, fun bo uh, body lotion or something would be amazing as a gift for someone in your family. Uh, I know I will get questions. This is the cedar box, the small cedar box from Knit Picks. Um, I just have all of my dishcloths in here. I think that they look absolutely adorable. I've not used any of them yet because I am waiting for the end of the year, but now that I'm seeing this, I definitely want to head back on to the dishcloth bandwagon because I love knitting dishcloths. I do. They're relaxing. They're great. They're great um, travel knitting. If you're bringing, if I'm bringing the girls to a park anywhere, 
it's amazing just to have. Okay, guys, the last thing that I wanted to chat with you guys about was the Brava. Now, Brava is one of those that was newer to me this year, and I've actually designed an adorable pair of mittens for the girls. Um, this is on their Nitpicks website, as well as my Ravelry and my website, I think. So, Brava comes within different ranges and different sizes. The one that I'm going to be talking about is their Brava Mini. They also came out with a Brava Speckle, which is beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be making some sweaters or stuff out of the girls for that one. Um, but I designed little family scrappy mittens out of these Brava minis. And I want to say like these are not even $2 with a 20, plus a 20% off coupon. So definitely grab a ton of these little tiny colors, um, play around with it and have some fun. So I grabbed a few of these. So this one is blush. Now this is 100% premium acrylic. It is very, very soft. Um, I was afraid that it was going to feel super cheap, and it doesn't, because I didn't know what to expect with 100% um, acrylic, but it's really, really nice. And the girls absolutely love their little tiny mittens. Um, I really enjoyed working with it, and definitely will be in the future. I need to make a second pair of those mittens in different colors for the other one, because um, I just made one. <laughs> so this one is Celestia, which is this stunning blue. This one is blush. And this one is rouge. Sorry about that. I just had to sneeze. So yeah, so this is Brava Mini. Um, I just think that these are absolutely adorable and definitely grab some if you are wanting to make some mittens and some hats and things. I think they're great for baby um, projects. If you're just making like little tiny mittens or booties for some babies, I think that these are great and just kind of nice to have in your stash if you're wanting to add a pop of color here and there. So that is all of my top yarns to definitely get on this sale. Is it every single one that I absolutely love? No, I couldn't include all of them because that would just be, you know, a crazy long video. But definitely head on over to the Nitpicks website and make sure you use the coupon code and um, my affiliate link down below. If you have any questions on their yarns, definitely put them in the down box and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. But I hope that you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I just wanna also say a humongous thank you to my friends over at Knit Picks for sponsoring this video. As always, you guys, happy knitting. Until next time.